Hello, this is Ms. DB, and in this lesson we're going to go over how to look at representations of three-dimensional figures. Our objectives are to draw representations of three-dimensional figures and to recognize three-dimensional figure from a given representation. However, since we're working in the online world, we're going to look at how to draw these, but you're not going to have to turn them in for as part of this assignment, your drawings. It's just too difficult to to do that and then you have to scan it in and everything. So you'll be mostly doing multiple choice type questions, picking the right answers on a uh, on the worksheet. There will be an extra credit assignment for this chapter where you can draw them if you're into uh, drawing three-dimensional figures or um, drawing to a vanishing point, that kind of thing. So our um, our vocabulary is mostly that there's different ways of drawing these figures. There's orthographic isometric, perspective, vanishing point, and horizon. The last three, like I said, that'll be more like a extra credit type of an assignment. There are many ways to represent a three-dimensional object. An orthographic drawing shows six different views of the object, top, bottom, front, back, left side, and right side. We're mostly going to be looking at that and with the isometric. All right, so here's a rectangular pyramid. If you looked at that rect rectangular pyramid from the top, you would see this rectangle that would have these lines in it from where the triangles are coming to the vertex. If you looked at it from the back, you would just see a triangle. If you looked at it from the right, you'd just see a triangle. If you looked at it from the bottom, all you would see is the uh, rectangle that is the base. If you looked at it from the front, it would look exactly the same as from the back, just a triangle. And if you looked at it from the left, you would also see a triangle. Since it's a rectangular pyramid, the right and left triangles are a little bit uh, more narrow, but they are triangles. Most of the ones that we're going to draw are going to look like this. There's these unit cubes that are all put together in different ways to show 3D dimensional figures, three-dimensional figures. And you're going to picture how that would look from those six different views. And like I said, we're mostly going to be doing that with multiple choice. Like I'll give you the a picture like this and I'll say, is this the top, bottom, left, right, front or back? And then you'll pick. So if you were to draw this from the top, all these different height cubes, you wouldn't be able to tell that. And all you would see is that there's one, two, three across and then one more kind of sticking out from the bottom to make this L shape. If you were to draw it from the bottom, it would be similar, except that the, the L branch would be going on the other side. If you were to draw it from the front, that would be looking straight on, it would look like this. If you were to draw it from the back, it would be very similar, except that the taller side would be on the other side. <laughs> And if you looked at it from the left, it would look like this. And if you looked at it from the right, it would look just flipped. Um, it can help you to find, like if you have a cup of dice, like from a Yahtzee game or letter cubes, it can help you to build these figures and then actually look at it from all those different ways that you can. This one's a little bit of, of a more simple object. So if we're going to look at that from the front, it would look like that, and from the back it would just be, the, the taller point would be on the other side. If you looked at it from the left, it would look like this, and from the right it would just be on the other side. And top and bottom, really you would just see a square, you know, four of them put together. There are kind of little lines there, but you don't necessarily have to identify those as being, you know, that this is taller or anything. An isometric drawing is just a, a way of making a 3D shape look like it's more of a 3D figure. You know, it's a 2D figure made to look 3D if you use this dot paper. Uh, you don't have to use the dot paper. You can do what I showed you in the last lesson, how to make a rectangular pyramid, but it can help you draw it better. Um, you're not going to have to do isometric drawings for this assignment, but if you were going to or if you're in art class and you want to try this if you have some isometric or if you want to print some off the internet here is what that figure would look like in, on the dot paper 
Here's another one. And again, you're not going to have to do this for your assignment. Um, perspective drawing, you may have learned about this in art class. Non-vertical parallel lines are drawn so that they meet at a point called a vanishing point. Vanishing points are located on a horizontal line called the horizon. You can either have one point perspective drawing where there's one vanishing point or two point perspective drawing containing two vanishing points. This is how that would look different for these rectangular prisms from either one vanishing point or two vanishing points. It's generally easier to do the one point perspective. Um, again, if you're an artist or if you're in an art class, you can try this for the extra credit assignment for this chapter. In a one-point perspective drawing of a cube, you're looking at a face. In a two-point, you're looking at a corner. Let me go back and show you that. So it's either face on, that's the way I would generally draw a cube, or it's um, two-point, you're looking at an edge, a corner of it. This is just an example of drawing a block letter U in one point perspective. So you would start by drawing the letter U and a horizontal line above it is representing the horizon. Mark a vanishing point on the horizon. Then draw the U shape below the horizon. This is the front of the U. So that's where you're looking at it straight on. Then from every single ver vertex on the U, you're going to draw a straight line with a ruler to the vanishing point from every one of these vertices. This one, 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 this one. Draw all of them just lightly. Okay, next, connect those by making um, vertical and horizontal line segments to make the back of the U. So it's really just a smaller U, you know, made closer to the vanishing point. That's really all there is to it. And then you would draw the edges in that and erase the lines if you want. You don't have to erase the lines. They're kind of cool looking, but. And that's it. Now, two point perspective. This is a lot trickier. I'm not an artist and I'm not good at this, but here's the steps that you can go through if you want to try this or if you are artistic and want to give it a shot. So there's the horizon line. Here's the edge of the U. It's about two thirds of the way down the segment. And then uh, you make the endpoints from the mark point and the endpoints of the segment. Lightly draw dash segments to each vanishing point. Draw vertical segments connecting the dash lines. These are the other vertical edges of the U. Lightly draw dash segments from the endpoints of each new vertical segment to the vanishing point. So we've got our vanishing points here and here, and you drew line segments to those. And then you draw the edges in. And it looks really cool when you're done if you're able to do this. All right, you will be doing this on your worksheet, determining whether the drawing represents the given object. A lot of this is on your worksheet. So you're going to have the given object here, and then you have to determine whether this matches it or not. And if you say no, you have to say why. So I would say no to this because there's one, two cubes along the bottom of the L in my original figure. And on this one, there's three. How about this one? It's got three tall and two on the bottom. I think that one looks good. If it's yes, you can just say yes. If it's no, you need to say what's wrong with it. This would be yes. Um, it's, you know, kind of spun around, but it would still be the exact same thing if you were looking at it from another angle. Now this one shows the top view. Yeah, there'd be two cubes. The bottom view, yep, two cubes. The front view looks like an L. The back view looks like a backwards L. The left side would be up and down three cubes, and the right side would be up and down. That looks good. That shows the six orthographic views of this object. And this is just another example of the same thing. You're going to look at these orthographic and determine whether or not that's a yes or a no. I'll give you a minute. I knew that one was a no right away because of the top. The top should have showed one, two, three blocks with another. So it should have been an L shape with three by one. And these are too short anyway. So this would be a no because of those reasons. So you'll be doing mostly problems like that on the worksheet. Please let me know if you have any questions. 
and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And remember, um, we won't be doing most of the drawing except for the extra credit. So thanks very much and have a great day.